Christine Horn, and welcome to Actors Daily Bread, episode 169. Today, I'm talking about acting class confusion. Acting class confusion. So stick around. Listen, this, <laughs> we're doing a countdown, level up to stardom countdown. And today's day seven of that. I'm counting down. I'm going live every single day up until the Bronze Lens Film Festival happens in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to be teaching at the 10-year anniversary. I'm so excited. Saturday, August 24th at the Hyatt Regency in Atlanta, Georgia. You can come see me, get on a plane, get on a, take a boat, take a bus, drive, come get, uh, work with me for, uh, from 10 to 6, August 24th. So in honor of that, I'm doing these videos, my Actors Daily Bread series, so that we can prep you to level up to stardom. I am live on Instagram. Hey, Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. So be sure to come say hi right now. Say hi. Let me know you're in the, let me know you're here in the comments. Just say hi, Christine. Just so I know I'm not alone. <laughs> but I want to talk about acting class confusion today and what I mean by that. So I get, I'm really blessed to work with a lot of different actors and coach a lot of actors one-on-one -on -one and in my Booking Magnet Academy. And what starts to happen is a couple of things. As I'm talking to some actors, I find that there's a lack of confidence when it comes to your auditions and your audition process. And what I find is, you know, I, I teach in a very, I don't know, a very different way. Um, hey, Reggie. <laughs> Hey, Monique. Hey, Marilee. Right? So sometimes people will come to me and they'll say, well, what, what, what method do you teach? And I'm like, uh, the horn method, the Christine horn method, like, it's my method. <laughs> and some people will be like, uh, she's bogus and go about their business. And that's fine. But what I want to empower anyone who works with me or anyone who's watching me is to take take bits and pieces, eat the fish, spit out the bones of what works for you and what doesn't. So what I've started to find is even with some of my private clients in my inner circle, we've been talking and there's a bit of confusion. So I give them a self tape assignment, right? And they don't know where to begin because they took this person's course for six weeks or they went to this conservatory and then they took this workshop for the weekend by this casting director but then this manager had a cat had a workshop and then all of a sudden you just feel so confused you don't know where to begin you have lost the identity of yourself of your raw talent and the confidence in yourself and so you try at that point to take like a little bit of maybe everybody or you go so hard in the paint with one way and there are some acting studios i know who was like you we do it this way only and i just don't subscribe to that right i'm a you know, I just, this isn't, everybody has their method. So I just want to give you a little tip today about how you can quiet some of the noise because everybody thinks their way is great, right? <laughs> Naturally, we all believe in ourselves. But what starts to happen also with any one coach that you have, if you rely too much only on their method, that leaves you weak and vulnerable. So let me explain. Sometimes my private clients get so attached to me every time they get an audition. They're like, and I'm not calling none of y'all out, but they're like, Christine, what do I do? What am I supposed to do now? I'm like, chill. You know what steps you're supposed to do. We work through this, right? You know you're going to research. You know you're going to watch the show. You're going to get the tone. You're going to break down your script. Like, you know this. But you start to lose confidence because, oh, they must be doing something so right, and I don't want to mess it up. So today I want to give each and every one of you the freedom to be wrong, <laughs> the freedom to find your own flow. So if you went to Studio A in New York, then Studio B in Los Angeles, Studio C in Chicago, find what parts of that have brought you success. So maybe the preparation process of one studio or teacher didn't really work for you, but you love the way they taught substitution and you love the way that you can use substitution in your scripts, or maybe you know, you work with someone who's more free like me, who just mixes a bit of everything. And you're like, oh, that works for me for this kind of role. Only you can decide what that is. When you take, eat the fish, spit out the bones of what literally feels good in your body and in your flow and what gets you results. So can we talk about results 
real quick. Like if you are following someone else's process to the T and yet not seeing a single result, no callbacks, no pins, no, no feedback in any way that's positive, I would dare ask you to look at that process and see is it sitting well with you. Because see, some of you, and we talked about this in my Booking Magnet Academy, and look, if you're just joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, I kind of jumped ahead. I was so pumped to talk to you about this. You know, this is your first time watching After Jelly Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live life you love. That's what this is about right here. And this is episode 169. So if you miss any part of this, it'll replay. And then also you can binge. Please come to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. But we're talking about acting class confusion and how it messes with your confidence, which in turn messes with your booking ratio. I'm all about getting these bookings. Why? Because I'm a booking magnet. And if we don't book the role, can someone finish my line? If we don't book the role, we at least book the room. Actually, booking the room is your number one job. Um, so I want to give you a tip, one major walk away for today. And I'm just going to say hi to a few people. Hey, Nancy Powell. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Shout out to the Actors Lounge podcast, Mel B, who had me on today to talk about my new book, Playing Small, which is officially out Thursday on Amazon. Um, I'm really excited about it. So really grateful for all the podcasts. I'm about to be on your all over the podcast sphere very soon, but I'm really grateful for that. Um, hey, Miss Towers. Hey, Reggie. Okay, okay. I'm not even going to try to say all these names. So here's the takeaway for today. You've, you've heard, and listen, this does not apply to you new, brand new beings, my, my brand new people who have never taken a class to begin with. You need to get in somebody's class, to be clear. <laughs> I'm talking to the actors who've been doing this for a while. You may not have your first network credits, but you've been doing it for a while. You've been studying your craft, and I want you to find what makes you feel good. If you're following a, a structure or a checklist or something a teacher said and it does not feel good in your body, you feel nervous, like some of you are coaching with people, you're actually doing the right things. You're going to a taping service. You're getting coached, right? You're, you're paying money. You're investing. But something about that teacher or that coach makes you uncomfortable, that you get a little nervous, you know, like not in a good way, like they're trying to get you to do it one way or see the vision a certain way or break the character down in a certain way and it's just not vibing with you. I want each and every one of you, even my replay watchers, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. Even my replay watchers, I want you to think about, does this feel good literally in my body? I don't think enough, as actors, we're supposed to be so tuned in, tapped in, turned on to our process, but that is the first thing we ignore, how we're feeling inside. And I know I'm going all like heady, but again, that's where I live. And that's how we bring these characters to life. So if any part of you is resistant, if any part of you, Brandon, you, Marilee, you, Reggie, you, Nancy, any part of you is resistant to the process of creating this character because you think you have to follow this path, that resistance will show up in your performance. I always tell you guys, the eyes tell no lies. It will show up in your eyes. We won't believe a word that you're saying. We can see that you're not connected. The camera is a lie detector. So it first starts with your process. So what process do I teach my students? The Christine Horn process, the Christine Horn technique, which is a mix of Freddie Hendrix techniques, you know, Uta Hagen, Stella Adler, like it's just, it's just a little gumbo of things that I was like, oh, I like that. Oh, that feels good. I'm able to, oh, okay. And that's my own little gumbo. So I want each of y'all to create your own little gumbo process and then document what that is. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Am I making sense? Hashtag gumbo in the comments. Can I get some hashtag gumbo to make so I know y'all with me? all these papers <laughs> hashtag gumbo and I know there's always a delay on these comments I just have to know like I'm making sense to you so I'll take a question I don't see any hashtag gumbos yet um come on Freddie Hendrix absolutely yes I use my Freddie Hendrix is was my mentor has been my mentor since I was in high school and in my new book playing small he has 
I use one of his most famous quotes to open my book, which I'm so honored to do it. Okay, Reggie's giving me a hashtag gumbo. Okay, wonderful. Facebook, I think, has a delay. It does this. So I'm sure y'all probably are commenting. I just don't see it yet. So take this away with you today. What pieces of this puzzle? <laughs> yes, gumbo emojis. <laughs> um, what pieces of processes have you created? See, what happens is, oh, this is a bonus. I didn't even mean to talk about this. This just came up to, for me right now. Some of you have booked or you went through a really good booking phase and have hit a halt or have reached a plateau and you don't know what has changed. Now, many things could be factors. We're not, we don't have time to go into all that today, but I dare say something about your process has started to change. Many of you who I talk to sometimes are like, I'm like, why did you do this? I was talking to someone yesterday about her tapes and she was like, well, I, I had a feeling that wasn't great, but I just sent it anyway. Why? Why would you send something that's not right? That you know in your spirit is not the best take. Hi, Sean Robin, right? Why would you do that? Some of you have this mentality of just get it done. I just need to get it done. And I'm here to tell you, if, if, you're, if your mentality is get it done, then just don't do it at all. Get it done well. I didn't say get it done right because we don't know what's right and what's wrong. All we can do as actors is make strong choices. 99% of the time your choices are wrong because you don't have a full script, you, you don't have a director in the room, right? So creating your process. So think back to when you were booking. Think back to when you were in your flow. Think back to when, man, the last 10 auditions were banging. I booked two, but I didn't book the other eight, but they felt good. What did you do? Jot, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Literally write your process down. Did you start with a cup of tea that day? Did you stretch? Did you yoga? Did you meditate? Did you talk to your girlfriend? Did you play some music? Did you have sex? Like what did you do that made your process feel good to you so that you showed up fully complete as yourself and killed it and didn't second guess yourself and your confidence was high. Some of you are overlooking what makes you wonderful, what, what makes you spectacular, what makes your performance great. And instead you think, oh, what I'm doing is not working. But the problem is you haven't tapped into what has been working and document it. And that way you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you get an audition. That's why some of y'all are nervous. The, the C mail comes in, your agent emails you, and you're like, ah! <laughs> instead of being excited, all of a sudden you're freaking out. And why? You prayed for this. But if you had your process written down, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record. If you had your process written down for you, it would be much easier. This is the stuff I'm going to be really working on. Like for those of you who came to my Hollywood Bound actors, um, y'all, uh, uh, sweat's coming. Y'all know it's getting good. Sweat is coming. <laughs> oh, sweat is coming. I had an audition. She's cute. I had to, this hair is hot, though. It's hot. But I was cute, though. Um, <laughs> for those of you who came to, I had my first event last year in Atlanta, Hollywood Bound Actors Live. Shout out to all of you beautiful souls who came to Atlanta last year. Just so you know, we're not doing the exact same stuff. We're going to go deeper, same framework, because my methodology is the same. You got to get to know your mama, mindset, acting, marketing, auditioning. We're going to talk about that. My checklist here of going live every day. This is all we're talking about, so I'm going to be going live every day. But we're going to go deep, deeper in this in person. And I, by the time that you leave working with me on August 24th in Atlanta, on Instagram, the, click the link in my bio if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm teaching at Bronze Lens. By the time you leave, you're going to leave with on paper what your process is and you'll try it out when you get home or your next audition and if it doesn't quite flow we will adjust on paper confidence when you are confident when you are connected it shows you'll be grounded that's the difference between working actors and non-working actors we stand and we sit in our confidence of our craft because we've done that work Yes, Brandon, take note of your process, note to self. Yeah, I think we take it for granted. 
especially when something worked really well. When something worked really well, I, I hate when I hear people say, not hate people, but I just don't like when I hear people say, I don't know what I did. That's not a compliment. I'm like, no, something was different that day. <laughs> Some, I'm gonna say, a, this book, children cover your ears. Merrily, <laughs> I coached one of my clients, Merrily, one time. <laughs> I don't know if she's still on here. And I was coaching her, children cover your ears. And I said, um, I was trying to talk to her about nerves. I was like, you may need to have an orgasm before you go to this audition. <laughs> and she was like, Ugh. okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's why, this is why I don't coach children. <laughs> but hey, if it works, it works. Okay, I am going to, Marilyn, are you still on the line? Hi, Dawn. You never know what's gonna come out of my mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh, any closing questions about this, what I'm talking about tonight? <laughs> no orgasm questions, but any other questions <laughs> before I go? I'll give Facebook a second, just check in Instagram. Sunny does live, Sean Robin, I think I've shouted all of you out. Hey, Bella Red, awesome. My my students my students are here talking about wow coach hey I mean can I keep can I keep it real I mean isn't that not what we do just saying it's part of a part of a process not part don't have to be part of your process um Sean Robin 007 says in your years of experience do you think majority of great auditions and bookings are based on who you know no absolutely not. I know people say that, absolutely not. No. In my, it is based on, it is based on skill, talent. It is also based on, you know, bankability. It's, it is show business. We'll do a lot more talking about marketing this month. Marilee, oh, you missed your shout out, girl. Marilee, you missed, tell her she missed her shout out. I was talking about that time I told you to have an orgasm before your audition. Do you remember that? She went to Instagram. <laughs> um, so no, Sean Robin. Um, no, I, I, I know people say that, and I think that's a cop-out. That's an easy cop-out to be like, that's why I didn't get it. See? And that takes me off the hook. No. Like, look, we can't control everything. There's sometimes it comes down to, you know, height and skin color and, and, and gender. Like, yeah, those are the things we can't control. But I, if I think back to my best auditions, and my, it wasn't because someone knew me or I had an in. It's because I killed it. It was my time. It was my job. I can't take what's yours. You can't take what's mine. Oh, no problem. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Listen, if you enjoyed these videos, come on over and watch me on YouTube. And don't just watch, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and if you're enjoying this training, I'll be going live every day until Bronze Lens Film Festival on August 24th. I don't know what time. I'd like to keep you surprised. Um, but yeah, I'll take one more question if we have one. Dawn Bino, shout out to Dawn Bino in Atlanta. She says, I'm ready to be a booking magnet. Yes, Dawn, Dawn's in my inner circle. VIP coaching program, and she has a wonderful YouTube series called It Just Dawned on Me. So check that out. So many good things going on out here. Thank you, Sean Robin. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well, I'm gonna get ready to go. I just got in, had an audition, sat in traffic for an hour. I was like, let me come on live, because if I sit on that couch, y'all know, it's about to be a wrap. So again, um, if you're on Facebook and Instagram, turn on notifications. Um, oh, can you do me a favor? Some of you, I know some of you on Instagram, you're on your phone, so you can't do it. But maybe somebody on Facebook can help me test this out. I want to test, because I just did this join by text thing. I'm prepping for my event. Um, can someone text the word HBA, like Hollywood Bound Actor, Instagram, y'all can't do it, you're on the phone. But um, someone on Facebook text HBA to 66866. Standard text rate supply. So if you don't have an unlimited plan, don't do it. Someone text HBA 
to 66866. And I'm curious to see if it works. Because I, I had, I, me and my husband tested it, but I just want to make sure another phone works. That's it. I'm going to say goodnight. Someone do that for me, and you'll get a little treat from, from me. Um, you get a little treat from me. HBA, text that to 66866. Good night, Instagram. I'm going to do something uh, wild and log off on you first and hang out with Facebook for a little while longer. Bye. <laughs> Facebook, I usually always go off on Instagram. Um, just because Facebook has a delay, so I just wanted to make sure that we're all good. So yeah, if you're watching on Facebook and you never want to miss a video, turn on your notifications so you don't miss a future episode. And if you missed any part, this will replay. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging with me. I will see you tomorrow.